guys welcome back to my channel this is Dominica and today we are going to do the quick contour nose contour cheek contour something that's very easy very easy to do uh, you don't need a lot of a product you just need to use whatever you have at home whatever you like so uh, yeah I hope that you're gonna like this tutorial because like I said it's the easiest way of contouring your nose the um, most crucial part of it is just to blend it the right way and other than that you just keep rolling with the punches and see what it looks like you can always fix it while you're doing it so that's why i use powders and not creams and uh yeah just let's move on into the tutorial portion okay so i'm gonna try to make this contouring nose contouring and the face contouring as easy as possible all you need is maybe some uh bronzer that you normally would use uh, and I'm doing it in powders. I'm not big on creams when it comes to contouring I just don't feel like it lasts on my skin texture for as long as I would want it to so the idea behind it is to uh, Enhance some features of your face and maybe hide some other features So for example, like if I'm contouring my nose, I want to make it appear look tinier and more like a button uh, and I want to look cute so then obviously you want to chisel your cheeks as well if you're more round face or something like that so this is why you want to do contouring I don't do contouring on a daily basis I have to be in a mood to do it it takes a little bit longer than right than applying regular makeup so that's why sometimes I stay away especially summertime it's kind of a no for me but I want to show you how I do it with the powders so then you can make your decision and I'm gonna try to make it as easy as possible I put my foundation and I actually went with sh shade lighter than what I normally would use during the summertime and then uh, I put my concealer around my eyes and um, setting everything with the white translucent powder i use revolution for that um again just to make contouring a little bit more pronounced i'm putting it around my eye area and on my nose that's where i put the most because that's where i'm going to start contouring the most but i actually did put a little bit on my entire face just to set my face with the powder so I don't use two different powders to set it there's uh, there are different ways of doing it some people use a lot of different products some people go with minimum I'm trying to go with a minimum and make it as easy as possible so as I apply that here and on my nose this is the area that I'm contouring first so I'm going with the elf brush just the regular eyeshadow brush but it's a little bit like it's a little bit thicker it, it's almost like a sculpting brush okay and so I actually go with the MS Glamour palette this is what I have it has powders which that's what I need for today's tutorial it has three different bronzers I'm gonna use the one in the middle because it's um, it's on the lighter side it has a little bit more warmth to it so I'm just dipping my brush a little bit tap the excess it's extremely important you don't want to put too much product on and so I'm now looking in my mirror and I'm starting right here and I'm drawing the line. I want my nose to look straight, so I'm drawing a straight line down the side of my nose. You see? You can definitely tell this line is there now, but it's still pretty um, pretty soft. It's, I'm still gonna blend it in even, even better. Make sure you tap the excess off because it's always easier to add product, but it's harder to just mess up all your makeup and just try to remove. Um, the powder so then I'm going on I'm, I'm actually taking my time doing it I'm going on the other side and I'm trying to make my nose look slimmer smaller so this is what I do okay and now again tap the excess off that's the crucial portion of it and I'm going to go all the way here okay and here Again, tap the excess off, and I want my nose appear to be smaller. So you see, I have this this portion of my nose is kind of big and it stretches. So I'm actually trying to make the line right here, as if my nose just ended here. Okay. And then sometimes I go underneath. to make it appear smaller and the reason I do it with the you see and the reason I do it with uh, with powders is because I feel like it's 
easier for me to blend it. I kind of like it a little bit more. Uh, so now we are going to take a brush that again, regular eyeshadow brush, and I'm going to try to blend it out a little bit. Just play with it a little bit. You don't want to get, you want to blend it as much as possible, but you don't want to get rid of it with all, all of all of it because you definitely still want this line to be pronounced here a little bit. So I'm actually definitely taking time with it. And just blend it, blend it, blend it. That's going to be crucial portion of it. You see? So the lines are still there but it now looks as if my nose was a little bit more straight and so now i'm taking my white powder and actually i'm going to use that the same blending brush i just wiped it off so i'm putting a little bit here and i'm adding a little bit of that lighter powder right in the middle here make it more visible and a little bit here and a little bit more to the sides so I want the sides to be a little bit more pronounced but you don't want to go overboard with it and you basically you play with it a little bit Take your time with it for sure, okay? Because that's going to determine whether or not it's gonna look good or not. And so you definitely wanna, I'm just gonna blur it up a little bit. Okay, so this is the nose contour. And now I'm going with the same, um, with the same bronzer. Tap the excess off, and now we're contouring my face. So because of my age and because of the lifting effect that I want to achieve with the bronzer, I don't go all the way here. I try to keep it right here on the side. And just so you know, contouring, it's not just concealer and the bronzer or dark cream, uh, creams or powders. It's actually highlighter as well because you enhance certain portion of your of your face. So for example, like the highlighter is going to help to dress it all up and finish up. So let's say you want to have smaller forehead, you put the bronzer right here. And again, this this is a very soft contouring. So you will see the difference, but it's still going to be very subtle. Okay. Okay, so you basically highlight, uh, you basically put the bronzer here and here, and on it on the top portion of your cheek, of your cheekbone, and you blend it upwards. And as I'm blending it, I'm gonna play with it a little bit longer. Let me do my eye makeup off camera and my lips, and then I'm gonna finish up to show you with the highlighter how to highlight some of the. Uh, parts of your face. So I already did my eye makeup. I put some lipstick on and the last portion of it once everything is settled You want to take a little bit of a time and then I finish up with my highlighter So I actually use the gold. What is it called? I think it's called yeah Vegas and it's a loose um, Highlighter and I really really love the color. It's just very gentle, but it gives me this beautiful golden glow I always pick highlighters that have a little bit more of a gold in it i'm not a you know snow white type of person with the silver uh highlighter although i like some of the products so again we contouring so you want to go a little you kind of want to go on the top of your bronzer on a very very top but don't put it too close underneath your eye because it's going to enhance the wrinkles and fine lines and whatever else you maybe want to hide and so go on the top like this and you want to focus on an upper portion of your cheek you want it to be gentle and I'm gonna do the other side same thing like this
and you're pretty much set. Some people put it right here, which I want to bright this area up a little bit as well. Some people put highlighters in the corner of their eyes to just brighten and illuminate this area even more. Some people put the um, highlighter on the top of their nose. So I'm actually going to put it not on the top of my nose, but on the top of that brown line that I just made to appear my nose finish a little bit higher. So it gives you that, um, that look of a shorter, smaller nose. So my friends, this is pretty much it. This is what I do in order to highlight. So nothing changes. You just put your foundation first, put your concealer on, set it all with the lighter powder and the reason for it is you're going to probably use a little bit more bronzer than you normally would because you want to enhance certain features by chiseling up your cheek and then shorting your nose so there's a lot of brown going on and if you're not happy with what whatever doesn't look right like just take a little bit of more of the white powder and just blend it whatever you feel it's a little bit too dark or too much product you can always just figure out the way to fix it but this is pretty much it for the uh, contouring portion um, I really like you enjoyed it I hope that you like videos like that like again I'm gonna keep it short and sweet and so subscribe if you haven't done so it really really helps me out uh, like that video with the click of a like button and I will see you in my next video <laughs>